It's a classic fable that dates back centuries. But the moon, I regret to inform you, is not actually made of cheese. But what if it were? What if we could instantly transform all 160 sextillion pounds of the moon into a floating sphere of cheese? Well first, since cheese is less dense than rock, it would expand quite a bit. The mantle now has hundreds of miles of cheese crushing down upon it. The pressure will quickly separate the cheese into its main components, water and proteins, called caseins. The denser caseins will sink towards the core, while the water ascends to the surface. As the caseins compress, they'll generate heat and prevent the water from freezing. As pressure and heat increase near the core, caseins will be broken down further into molecules of carbon, nitrogen, and hydrogen. Nitrogen and ethane will rise and start to build a thick atmosphere, which will eventually trap sunlight and warm the surface so deep that vast oceans can form. For a short time, the moon will look more like Earth than the desolate, frozen desert we have now. But this paradise moon won't last forever. The moon's gravity is too weak to sustain an atmosphere, so over time the nitrogen and ethane will escape into space. Without a protective atmosphere, the oceans will freeze and eventually sublimate away. What remains will be a core of carbon with residual caseins peppering the surface. All of the moon cheese will be lost to space, and all we'll have left is the shell of the dairy paradise that once was.